Hello, my name is Lee Howard and I'm a product specialist for Hike Vision and today I would like to take this time to introduce you to our new 2700X series access control range. Firstly, I will briefly discuss the background and decision to develop the product and then I will go into more depth about the product range itself. Our existing range of value and pro series controllers offer great functionality and value for money. However, they are restricted to IP controllers only and they have to run with a server client based software platform. Whilst this is fine for most scenarios, it doesn't allow for applications that require a built in software application or cloud based management. Additionally, with no RS485 cascading, the existing range of controllers are not best suited to the retro upgrade of legacy access control systems that have been implemented with RS-485 networks. The new 2700X series manages to ensure that we can meet all of these requirements. It has RS-485 cascading that enables you to expand your system up to 128 doors without any additional network points, making it ideal for the upgrading of legacy access control systems or systems where you wish to centrally locate the controllers. It also has its own built-in web configuration tool, negating the need for software, though it can still be used on other platforms, as you will see later. Using Hike Connect 6 Teams mode in conjunction with the new 2700X series controllers, we can also offer a cloud-based access control system. And we are no longer restricted to standard mounts. All 2700X series controllers and subcontrollers can be gim rail mounted or standard chassis mounts. Like our value and pro series, the Ultra Series 2700X range of controllers is available as a one, two or four door variant. Plus you have the addition of the K2M002X subcontroller, which is a two door device. The user and event levels have also been increased to 100,000 and 600,000 respectively. Configuration of the 2700X series can be completed without the need to install any software by using the Easy Web Configuration tool, and this is also mobile friendly. But hardware is also supported by Hike Central 2.5, Hike Central Access Control 2.2, and Hike Connect 6 Teams mode. The system is designed to be flexible and easy to install providing both enclosure and dim rail installation and PoE is also available and the devices all have LED indicator display to determine communications are working effectively. In terms of communication, uplink to the software platform is achieved through TCP IP with Wi-Fi option also available on the PoE controller. This has to be set as PoE or Wi-Fi, not both. Downlink communication to readers is achieved through either Wigan or RS-485, also supporting OSDP, and you can also communicate to a subcontrollers on dedicated RS-485 lines. All controllers have advanced features built in, such as airlocks or interlocking, anti-passback, first person in, and multi-factor authentication. Security protocols include RS-485 private protocol, OSDP and HTTPS. If we now look at the topology of the system, you can see there are three ways to connect back to your chosen platform. The first is to connect your 2700 series controller to the network and then connect subcontrollers to the four dedicated RS-485 lines. In this mode, you can achieve a maximum of 128 doors when using the 2704X controller, 126 when using the 2702X, and 125 when using the 2701X. The maximum number of subcontrollers per 485 line is 16, so that enables 32 doors per line. A second option is designed to be more secure by providing an RS-485 redundancy, and this uses two lines per 1485 bus. If wired in this configuration, you can have a maximum of 64 doors on the subcontrollers, 
plus one, two or four doors from the 2700 controller, depending on the model used. The final method is to utilise the 2700X series in the same manner as the Value and Pro series and not use subcontrollers. You can, of course, mix and match the topologies, enabling a very flexible design and installation, and also extremely useful for when you require to upgrade an existing RS-485 cabled legacy access control system. As you can see, Behind me, the 2700X series comes in a number of options. Firstly, we have board only option for a one, two and four door controller, along with an additional two door PoE slash Wi-Fi controller. We also have the sub door controller available in board only option. If you prefer, you can order the main controllers pre-mounted in a steel enclosure, and this includes a one, two and four door option along with the two-door PoE slash Wi-Fi version. And lastly, there is an eight-door option that includes a four-door controller plus two sub-controllers. And as you can see, this comes in a very neat housing with plenty of cable ties to ensure a neat installation. Looking further into the controllers, you can see that they each have a network interface with the exception of the K2M002X subcontroller. You then have one, two, four or eight lock outputs depending on the model chosen, along with the same corresponding number of exit buttons. The subcontroller has two lock outputs and two exit button inputs. And in terms of alarm inputs, it is double the number of doors. So a one door has two, a two has four, a four has eight, and an eight door controller has 16. As the sub controller is a two door, it also has four alarm inputs. Alarm outputs are two for a one door, four for the two and four door, and eight for the eight door plus two for the sub controller. All controllers come with a dedicated fire alarm input, including the sub controllers. And if you wish to utilize Wigan readers, you can have two on the one door, four on the two and four door, an eight on the eight door and two on a sub controller. Though for security purposes, I would also always recommend RS-485, which can be Height Vision Private Protocol or OSDP Protocol. In terms of RS-485 communication, each controller has two dedicated lines for readers, enabling redundancy cabling, and five for the access control sub controller lines. The sub controller itself has four, two for readers and two for extending the subcontroller line. All main controllers also have a USB port for local updating purposes. If we look a little deeper at the communication methods, we can see that uplink communication can be achieved through both wired and Wi-Fi networking, enabling control through the built-in web control software. Hike Central Professional, Hike Central Access Control, and lastly, Hike Connect 6 Teams Mode. Downlink communication enables us to connect our subcontrollers across RS-484, RS-485 lines, and we can connect to readers on dedicated RS-485 lines or Wigan interface. You have the choice of enclosure mount or dim rail powered by 12 volt DC, or you can choose a 2702WX-E1P model if you require PoE or Wi-Fi. Status indicators enable you to check for power, communication and operation, making it convenient for checking the health of devices. All enclosure models have battery backup capability and all controllers have the ability to create event and alarm linkage. For example, create the ability to trigger the alarm output via card swipes, two for set and three for unset, and this is useful for switching lights or arming, disarming intruder panels. Again, without the need for a software platform and just utilizing the built-in web browser platform, you can create interlocking or airlocks to a maximum of 32 doors. And you can also create up to 32 anti-passback routes with a maximum of 32 doors per route. First person in mode and multi-factor authentication groups are also available. The 2700X series has its own built-in software platform that can be configured through the web browser 
and this can manage the main and sub controllers or if you have multiple main controllers and want a unified platform then you can use the hike central professional 2.5 or hike central access control 2.2 platform and for a true cloud-based system we also have hike connect 6 teams mode this makes the 2700x series the most flexible system on the market in terms of programming and management capability and as you can see from the slide the built-in web co configuration tool provides a very easy to manage system the home page at a glance enables you to view door status open doors remotely view event logs and check status of devices the access point management system enables you to view the topology of the system and diagnose where a communication port may lay. This is also a quick way to choose a device, reader, etc. to change the settings. Setting up the system can be done from a computer or mobile device using the web configuration tool. It also has a built-in wizard to assist new users. I hope you found today's webinar useful and in the future I plan to run a second webinar showing the actual programming of the system. Thank you for your time.